Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I finally got around to recording another favorites video for you. Uh, it's been a minute, so there's gonna be a few little bits and pieces in this video. I do apologize, my voice is kind of a little bit weird right now. I'm once again, recovering from a sickness. I seem to be getting sick every time I travel lately. So if you would like to see what I have been absolutely loving for the last few months, keep watching and I'll be showing you my favorites. So my first favorite that I'm going to do is this Hidden Crown Halo style extensions. I wanted to do this first so that I can do the rest of my video with my pretty princess hair. But as you probably know, my hair has gone transformation from very, very blonde to black. The reason why I did this was, well, I've always wanted black hair, but my hair was also extremely damaged from bleaching it for 15 years. I also had real hair extensions, like the sew-in kind, um, and I think that that damaged my hair a lot. So I've been left with this kind of thin growing out stage right now. So these have been helping me a lot lately. So basically what it is, is just a weft of hair. There's actually two like separate kind of sections of hair. There's one a longer one here and then one for more thickness at the back. And then basically there's this piece of wire that you put across your part. So basically you just kind of pop it about an inch away from your hairline, pull it down, flick out your real hair. It's as easy as that. I have got clip-in hair extensions, which were basically just a pain in the butt to put in every day. So that's why I would never end up wearing them a lot. So these are just so easy to put on and they don't, like you don't feel them slip around or anything like that. Like once they're on, they're secure on your head. And also there's no pulling or there's no weight on your hair. So if you do have kind of damaged hair like I do, clip-ins are good, but they're not great to wear all the time. But something like this, like you saw, it took literally a minute or less to put it on. So this is something that I would actually be bothered to do every day. I'll definitely leave a link below where to get these extensions, but if you want more of an in-depth kind of tutorial on how to put them on and what to expect when you're buying them, let me know in the comments below and I will make a lengthier tutorial on that. Another product that I am so obsessed with right now is the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. I did just come back from London and I was lucky enough to go and visit one of the stores while I was there. So I stocked up on a ton of Illamasqua stuff. I was very unsure to try this at first because I'd had so many mixed reviews. Um, a few of the people that I love to follow like uh, Pixie Woos, she uses this all the time. And I've heard other people say, no, it breaks up on my face. Just a bunch of negatives about it. I was like, oh well, I'll, I may as well try it now that I'm here. So I have been using for the last few weeks and it hasn't broken me out as well, which is a huge Huge bonus with a foundation it just goes on so beautifully it covers enough it's not too thick looking it photographs well it lasts all day I cannot say enough good things about it right now my skin isn't very oily nor is it very dry so maybe that's why it's working for me right now I also wanted to mention the skin base in white it's been almost a year since I've turned cruelty free but this last Halloween I used to use a ton of Mac stuff for my white base when I was doing Halloween makeup. So I did pick up the white skin base and this stuff is the freaking bomb for Halloween makeup. It goes on super smooth. It doesn't get oily. It doesn't separate. I used it on my husband as well. And usually I used to use the MAC Airbrush HD foundation on him and he would get quite shiny towards the end of the night and this stuff was absolutely perfect. So yeah, I would definitely recommend trying this foundation if you can get your hands on it conveniently. Just for the record, yes, my shade is 4.5, so, and that's more of a yellowish kind of pale undertone foundation. Speaking of Halloween makeup, this bad boy has come so much in handy for me this last month. For the last month, I did have bleached eyebrows. I've dyed them back so far, but I was using this with a little spoolie from Cosmetics 
just to kind of brush through the eyebrows just to make them extra white and less brassy. I also used this concealer uh, if you watch my Halloween tutorial to do little white veining on the face. I used it to cover my hands. I have been using it underneath highlighters just to make the highlighters pop a little bit more as well. There's so many uses for this. You can use it as a white mascara if you want as well. So I think definitely if you're a makeup artist or not, there's definitely room for this white concealer from Kat Von D in your life. Another absolute favorite for me right now is this color Napa Valley from Ofra. You guys probably know that Ofra always makes the top three of my favorite long lasting liquid lipsticks. So this color is just stunning. I don't think it's beauty can quite be captured on camera, but it's this really deepened, darkened plum, and it's almost got this metallic-y kind of gold sheen through it. And for me, the Ofra formula is definitely one of the longest lasting liquid lipsticks, especially when you're wearing such a dark color like this. So I just wanted to put together a few little Makeup Geek shadows that I've been loving lately as well. They recently just came out with a ton of new matte shadows, and there are a lot that are those beautiful, warm, reddish toned browns that I just love wearing for fall. These are the colors that I have all over my eyes right now. This one here, Cabin Fever, is a really good dupe for MAC Foley. It's that reddish, kind of deepened, dark brown. Um, also, this one here, Bake Sale, I think is a really good dupe for MAC Soft Brown as well. Then we have this one here, Tiki Hut, which is another dupe for MAC's Uninterrupted, which was one of my favorite colors. So it's been really good for me to find a dupe for that. Um, and then this one here, this is called Sidekick. This is kind of just a little bit lighter than Cabin Fever. I love to use those two shades together so you can get more of a gradient kind of blend. So those ones are the palette that I have on my eyes right now and kind of the palette that I love to use. I'm not gonna say for fall, pretty much always. Makeup Geek have been a saving grace for me since turning cruelty free because I found a ton of dupes for the MAC shadows that I used to love in their line. They're cheaper and better. So for my eyebrows, since dyeing them black, I've been experimenting with quite a few different lines. This brand from Italy, Nabla, just came out with the brow pots and these, I would have to say, is my favorite waterproof cream eyebrow. It's definitely the consistency of it. It goes on a lot smoother and it's not you know when you get your brush and you wipe over something a few times and it kind of almost disappears? That does not do that. It has a really nice creamy but opaque finish and it's the perfect color for people who have really deep dark brunette hair or black hair even. So when I can't be bothered doing a really nice sculpted brow, I use the Brow Divine pencils and this one in the color Uranus is perfect for dark hair as well super easy it has that nice kind of fine point little uh, tip as well and then the spoolie on the end of the brush too so nabla are killing it in the brow game for sure another new favorite of mine are the makeup geek highlighters they are freaking beautiful this one here lit i love this color it's the one that i'm wearing right now it reminds me a lot of kat von d thunderstruck this one here celestial is a beautiful like lavendery pearly kind of soft highlight. It is absolutely stunning as well. So that is Celestial and Lit Swatched. One more must have for me. This is the Supergroup City Serum Sunblock. SPF is an absolute non-negotiable for me in my everyday routine. And this is finally one that I found that doesn't break me out. So since becoming cruelty free, I have been having a really hard time trying to find something that works for me that has SPF and doesn't make me too greasy or break me out. And finally, I have found this one. I've been using it for quite some time now and I've had really good results for it but I think that SPF is definitely something that everyone should include in their daily regime because sun gives you wrinkles and nobody wants wrinkles, right? Right? So lastly, this brush here, the Smith 124, this is a brush that I've had in my collection forever and I haven't really used it too much until now. I've just started to re-love my Illamasqua Hollow Cream Pigment, which is a really good kind of 
a cool top shade for pale skin for a contour but this brush is absolutely perfect for cream contour the way that it's molded it just fits perfectly into the cheekbone and you just drag down and then what I will do is I'll just buff it up with my beauty blender just to kind of meld it into the skin and blend it as well also i have been using this to very softly contour the nose at some times you guys all know i'm not a huge face contourer sometimes it's nice to do sometimes but this is going to be your best friend for any kind of cream contour just a little update uh, since we last chatted a lot has happened my husband and i we just came back on a trip to london which was freaking amazing if you haven't been to that city i highly recommend going we had such a blast so while we were in london the 100k for cancer fundraiser that i was organizing it did end um it ended on a sweet little 20,000 k for cancer which is awesome and a lovely lady from sweden won the four thousand dollar makeup prize which was very very well deserved so i'd just love to say thank you so much for everyone that supported me during that fundraiser twenty thousand dollars is an amazing amount to raise towards cancer research i know that it deeply affects pretty much everyone's lives so anything that we can do to just make that small little difference counts so thank you so much for supporting me with that anyways if you have been watching any of the vlogs that i've been popping up you'll know that i'm now part of the kat von d event artistry team which means that pretty much most of the makeup shows and imats uh, conventions that are being held around the united states i will probably be attending the next one that i'm definitely going to be at will be the makeup show in chicago so if you're around that area come and visit us so i do apologize for my croaky weird voice right now i am sick i've been getting sick from traveling a lot lately i just can't seem to kick it so some other things that I wanted to mention as well sometimes when I do these favorites I do like to mention like accessories or other things this little choker um, I just got from an Australian brand called the Lair I love buying their leather goods so this is my new obsession right now and I also wanted to say that today I have been binge watching the ID YouTube channel there is a girl called Grace Neutral she's an amazing tattoo artist uh, but she's been traveling around doing kind of vlogs on on beauty standards in different countries so I'll link them below because I think that's definitely interesting and one of my favorite things that I've watched on YouTube in a really long time so i will link those below and make sure you go and check them out so yeah those are a few of my favorite things from the last few months let me know if you have any comments or requests in the questions below i hope you guys have enjoyed this favorites video i'm gonna try and get these done more often i promise guys i promise as always thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys next week for my next video Bye.